But anyway, you know, I had to get a little quick little haircut. My hair was getting too long. It was trying to go out past my doggone hat. Come on, nah. But anyway, in this video, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get your controller on your stream and stuff like that to look the proper way. A lot of people are having like a, a box show up and that's just unacceptable. So what we're going to do is go straight into how to fix that. All right, so now once you come to this website, what you have to make sure you do, one, plug in your controller to your computer, plug in your controller with the cord to the controller. That's what you have to do. Now, as you see, currently viewing, if I'm on none, it's not gonna show me anything. So you wanna make sure you're on the controller that is displaying your button presses. Player one, for some reason, sometimes recognizes your controller, but if it doesn't, you're gonna have to click one of these other ones. So as you can see, Player two is what's showing my controller. So once you get that all set up and you choose the one that yours is being displayed on, you wanna come over here, click that, and you wanna generate your URL. Do not copy this until you change the settings that you wanna change. If you want it to be the regular Xbox One, change that. If you want it to be the Xbox One White, change it to that. And for some reason, I'm listed as player two, but if I put it on player two, it does not recognize my controller in my software. So. I leave mine on player one, but if it doesn't display, just try going through these other ones. And then each time you change it, copy it and put that in your software. One of those will show your controller in your software. It'll say disconnected with the red controller silhouette. And then once you move your controller, voila. So what we're gonna do is we're not going to have a none because if you have none, it's going to show a box and you don't want that box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate that. Here we're gonna go to browser and then we're going to add, I'm just gonna name it RR and hit okay. And then you're going to paste it and you're gonna get this. This is what you're gonna get. You do not want this box, obviously. It's not gonna work out right for you. So like I was saying, you wanna come back into the web page so we're going to get rid of this matter of fact we're just going to delete this and we're going to go back to the web page so you want to make sure you click player one copy that url you come back over to the obs or whatever software you use this works on anything that lets you put a browser source in so you want to go here browser source and then we're going to name it rr again and i'm going to hit ok and then i'm going to paste and when i paste there you have it, the silhouette of the red controller, as I told you. And soon as I move my controller, there you have it. It's that simple. Why my chair got to do all that? Stop. Gosh, go feed your llama. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys and girls today. If you need to replay this video, just rewatch it, follow those steps again. Pause the video if you need to and get the settings exactly how you should. And then voila, you will have your controller back to where you can resize it. You can move it. You can do whatever you want with it. No more red silhouette of the disconnected controller and no more box showing the box because you don't want the box. You want just the controller. So there you have it. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to post some clean videos, and stream to your heart's content. Till next time, it's your boy, and I'm out. Peace.